Due to its impact on the environment, process manufacturers are pouring resources into setting and achieving lofty sustainability goals. These efforts may include things like carbon capture technology, alternative energy sources, and so on. And these are effective but often result in many specialized, siloed teams, while the process engineers on the plant floor are left unengaged with no vehicle to impact an organization's higher-level sustainability goals. Instead, process engineers spend much of their time focused on compliance. Their typical workflow involves downloading historical operating data to a spreadsheet application like Excel, and then spending days each month cleansing, aggregating, and contextualizing the data. Simply put, they don't have the right tools. This compliance-focused approach results in the organization just reacting to the environmental excursions after the fact, whenever they're identified during the monthly or quarterly reporting. To shift from this approach, organizations can use SEEK to empower their engineers with the right tools to analyze their environmental data in near real time and share the results with the broader organization. Starting with the executive level dashboard, we see a summary of the whole fleet of refineries. In the top left, there is a tree map which provides color coding to indicate the overall environmental performance of all refineries. Based on this visualization, it's immediately evident that Refinery 1, colored in red, appears to have an issue or deviation in emissions. This is further apparent in the histogram, which summarizes the monthly emissions for each of the refineries and the table, which indicates an overall environmental health score of each refinery. To investigate further, let's drill into the Refinery 1 dashboard. At the top of this dashboard, the current plant emissions across all the assets are visible. Next, a table of weekly averages to see how these values are trending over time is displayed. Finally, a tree map of all the different assets that are being monitored in real time and where the emissions are relative to their limits is shown. In a refinery, there are hundreds of assets, and the tree map allows users to quickly identify that Furnace 9, colored in red, is having a serious deviation. This takes us to the Furnace Asset Performance Monitoring Dashboard. At the top, both the environmental and maintenance summaries are clearly shown. One of the pollutants colored in red is high. The maintenance summary indicates that maintenance is required. Let's scroll down to get some more information. In the environmental section of the dashboard, there are several trends of the furnace's emissions. These trends contain both the raw signals from the data historian, as well as an hourly average and high limit as a red dash line. The engineer has identified when the hourly averages exceed these high limits, as indicated by the red bars or capsules along the top of the trend. The table provides daily averages of the emission level to identify longer-term trends in the emissions data. In the maintenance section, a trend of the calculated heat transfer coefficient is displayed, along with a predictive maintenance model that was built to determine when maintenance should be scheduled. The red capsule on top of the trend identifies when the predicted model drops below a minimum threshold, indicating that maintenance is required. Based on the information presented in the environmental and maintenance sections, the action items state that the maintenance is required to address the increased emission levels. All of this information that's displayed on the dashboards at whatever level is built based upon metrics and calculations built using SEEK's workbench analysis. Now, if we click on one of these trends, it will bring us into the analysis that was used to create it. In this analysis, users can see a journal where the subject matter expert has documented the steps of the analysis to enable collaboration with colleagues. The engineer calculated the hourly average and identified when the value exceeded the maximum limit using the tools available in Seek. These tools enable the user to do things like identify periods of interest, quantify results, and build regression models of their signals to name a few. Once the analytics are defined, we can easily apply the same calculations to another asset. With one click, the same analytics and calculations are applied to another furnace. We can now easily view a summary of these calculations across all the assets at the refinery by switching to the tree map view, which was on the dashboard. This demo serves as just one example of how C can be used to gain rapid insight into your environmental process data and shared with the broader organization. With Seek, an excursion was identified in real time. 
the environmental data was contextualized right alongside the maintenance data to identify the cause of the increased emission so that maintenance could be scheduled to mitigate the issue, thus avoiding an extended period of time at increased emission levels and heavy regulatory fines. Seek has customers across major process manufacturing companies using advanced analytics in this way to gain real-time insight into their environmental performance to drive action. Whatever assets and technologies you have or are currently using to drive sustainability goals at your organization, Seek can be used right alongside these efforts to involve and enable employees at all levels. Mm -hmm.